Hi, welcome to Lee's Corner. Today I want to share a tip or two with you on saving some money with your fishing stuff. A lot of people go out, clean out the tackle box, they go through their weights and they find weights that look like this with rust all over them and everything else. And what's the first thing they do with them? They throw them away. How many times you go out fishing and you're always want, wishing you had colored weights? Well, here's your opportunity to save some money, not waste anything, and produce colored weights. You can go out to the stores and buy weights and pay a higher price than buying the regular little lead weights or whatever. Or you can go out to a place and find you a pack of weights, economy weights, for a lot less money. And I'm going to show you how to color them and, make, and save yourself some money. Them weights get rusty and turn different colors and everything and you don't think fish will bite on them, don't throw them away. If that's what you're going to do with them, mail them to me. I'll take them in a heartbeat. But I'm going to show you a couple of easy ways to color weights, save yourself money, and equipment. Um, I always start off with using something that's put out called Lure and Jig Finish Paint. comes in little bottles. You can buy them in different colors. This is black. This is watermelon. So you're going to need your paint. That paint works real well. It's made for the fishing industry as it is. And I believe you can buy that paint for like three bucks a little bottle toothpicks and find you a piece of styrofoam and we're going to show you how easy this is what you do is you open up your paint take your toothpick insert your toothpick in the top of your uh, I'm sorry insert your toothpick in the bottom part of your weight like so toothpicks what you're going to use to dip it into the paint once you dip it in the paint Spin it around a few times, let all the paint excess drip off. I like to spin the uh, toothpick with my fingers. That way I get it all off. And once you finish with it, flip it over, insert it in the styrofoam, bam, your weight's colored. After a few, maybe about an hour or so, the paint will dry. All the excess paint, the reason I put the weights in and I always put them in the bottom is so... That was a little too big. So when it's hanging on the toothpick, it's all running down. You don't have no runs, you don't have no drips, and all the paint gets out the bottom part of it. Toothpick also keeps your hole from closing in, so when you want to run your fishing line through it, you have no problem. It does not seal up the holes. Again, all I do is put it on the toothpick, spin it around, let it drip off. As you spin it, it's throwing, slinging off all the excess paint that's on there. Let it drip. Once you get it down, spin it a few more times. Most of the paint's off. Flip it over. Oh, you can see I didn't spin it too good. That's why I use styrofoam. Set it up, let it dry. Once your product's finished and it's drying, you can take it right off the toothpick, you have your hole. You can still put it through your fishing line and fish. This type of paint compared to some other paints out there does not put out the odor on the weights so it doesn't cause the fish to turn away from it. It's designed for fishing lures. Um, it's fast drying and everything. I'll use one making a watermelon color. Pop the top off. Again, <clears throat> insert your toothpick in the bottom part of your weight. Stick it in. Spin it around, let the excess uh, paint drip off of it while it's upside down in the bottle. Some people ask me, do you put two coats on it? Not normally, but if you want to, you're more than welcome to do it. I think it's just wasting paint, but you can put two coats on it if you like to. There's your watermelon colored weight. Insert it in the styrofoam. And there you go. I made a mess on one of them, so we're going to clean the mess up using the other piece of toothpick there. And there's your uh, weights. Simple tip I like to share with everybody. Um, you don't have to throw away your old rusted weights when they get old. You don't have to worry about them and just toss them in the trash. They're still good. They're still usable. $3 for a bottle of paint, and you have colored weights before you know it. My tip to you is buy you a couple of different colors you like to fish with. Economy pack of weights I picked up at Academy for like $5, $6 for 60 weights. $3 for a bottle of paint. I can paint all 60 weights with that little bottle. 
And before you know it, you got 60 painted weights to use on your next fishing trip. This is your tip of the week, brought to you in Lee's Corner. Have a great day.